Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Let's see what you have. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. I've got a few minutes to browse. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I remember you. H222's contact. What's this all about? This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you... Have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Skip to the good part, Doc? We plug the brain implant into Mr. Valentine, assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant.
tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to for a lot of people. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. You'll see. 
but we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. I finally got... Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. Steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Uh, are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know. The thing about happiness is... I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. So, um...